Hello, hope you're doing great. Welcome to a new video. This video will present some solutions to the problems that were presented on the second video on exercises for practicing congruence of triangles. Giving a more precise context, this video will present solutions to the problems on the first video about the side, 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 or SSS, criterion of congruence for triangles. Before presenting the solutions, I'll give you some general advices with respect to mathematics as a discipline. First, proofs and solutions are far from unique. Also, mathematical discourse can seem very different to that of other disciplines. This aspect of pure mathematics can be compared to learning a language. The easiness to engage may only come after being comfortable hearing it. And as an encouragement, always have in mind that solutions and proofs take time of thought practice and experience to unveil. Finding solutions to some problems can take days, weeks, or years. Now it is time to start with the problems. I will follow the order as in the video that presented the problems. Hence, for the first problem, it states, let be an isosceles triangle, the triangle ABC, such that the sides AB and AC are equal. Let M be the midpoint of the side BC and asks to prove that the segment AM bisects the angle BAC and is perpendicular to the side BC. There is a drawing showing the information given by the statement of the problem and the information required to infer. To start, the details on the information that needs to be inferred will be set aside. Next, it is important to recall and keep track of the details that are already present. The first piece of information that is stated is that the sides AB and AC are equal. It is also given that the point M is the midpoint of the side BC, so the segments BM and MC are equal. To continue with the solution, the segment AM will be constructed. After drawing the segment AM, it is true that it is equal to itself. This may be a, a tricky step. Reviewing the information gathered, it is known that the sides AB and AC are equal, the segments BM and MC are equal, and the segment AM is equal to itself. Then by the SSS criterion of congruence of triangles, the triangles ABM and ACM are congruent. This implies that their corresponding angles are equal, so the angles BAM and MAC are equal, the angles AMB and CMA are equal, and the angles MBA and MCA are equal. Of the equalities obtained on step 6, the first two are the objective of the problem. The second problem states let be the quadrilateral ABCD a rhombus and asks to prove that the diagonals of the rhombus are bisectors of the angles of the rhombus. To begin the solution of the problem, it is better to first set aside the objective of the problem and start by gathering information given in its statement, as it was done on the first problem. The quadrilateral ABCD is a rhombus, so all of its sides are equal. The problem deals with the diagonals of the rhombus, so let's construct the diagonal AC and the diagonal BD. For the next step, it is noticed that the side AC is equal to itself and that the side BD is equal to itself. Now there is enough information for two pairs of congruent triangles. By the SSS criterion of congruence of triangles, the triangle ABD and the triangle BDC are congruent then their corresponding angles will be equal. The angles BAD and BCD are equal. The angles ABD and DBC are equal, giving one of the equalities required. Also, the angles BDA and CDB are equal, giving another equality required. Rearranging these sides by the SSS criterion of congruence of triangles, the triangles ABC and ADC are congruent, hence their corresponding angles are equal. The angles CAB and DAC are equal, 
giving a third equality required. The angles ABC and CDA are equal, and the angles BCA and ACD are equal, giving the last equality required to complete the problem. Before commenting the solution for the third problem, I recommend to remember the results obtained on the former problem. The third problem states, let be the quadrilateral ABCD a rhombus and asks to prove that its pair of opposite angles are equal. It is useful to remember the results obtained on the former problem as on the former problem it was reached that the angles BAD and BCD are equal, giving an equality required for this problem, and that the angles ABC and CDA are equal, finishing this problem. In addition, there could have been used different ideas. For example, using the procedure of the last problem up to the seventh step, it is known that the pairs of angles ABD and DBC, CDB and BDA and DAB and BCD are equal respectively. Then the correspondence between the sides of the triangles can be changed, noticing that the sides AB and CD are equal and that the sides BC and DA are equal. Then by the SSS criterion of congruence of triangles, the triangle ABD and the triangle CDB are congruent. As a consequence, the angles BAD and BCB are equal. The angles ABD and CDB are equal, and the angles BDA and DBC are equal. Using all the information gathered, the sum of angles ABD and DBC is equal to the sum of angles CDB and BDA from which the angles ABC and CDA are equal. It is a good time to ponder about these problems and the solutions that were presented. It is a good exercise to review their steps. Also, as always, if you found another solution to one of the problems or feel confused about any step, please comment. That would be all for this video. Hope you've also found your solutions to these problems. Thanks for watching.